At the moment I do have again three working inverters inside my power wall, albeit this one decided to downgrade it itself to 500 watts, but otherwise everything is working perfectly. Uh, you know when I installed the sun inverters, I also had AC side protection in my mind and that's why I uh, have built the DC soft start system because that time I thought if I would uh, start these inverters every time when I need them uh, via the AC side this would be harmful for them since then the AC side of these uh, inverters have failed four times DC side never had any kind of problems but once and for all I want to solve this issue with these AC faults and what I have in mind I want to show you now I want to prevent this case which is maybe killing the sun inverters on the AC side short grid interruptions you have to understand like this the inverter is powered by AC so AC is taken into its uh, internal power supply which then also is supplying the low voltages uh, the DC voltages to the electronics so when the AC is just turned off for a very short time the power supply still have some energy inside like you have capacitors and all this kind of stuff so the 12 volt and then a subsequent maybe 5 volt 3.5 volt buses inside the inverter still will have some power for some time so the AC goes off but the microprocessors and all this uh, sort of uh, parts will still do their job and in the next moment the AC the grid is again uh, powered up and that might catch the inverter somehow on the wrong foot uh, because uh, the electronics still did not realize that, that there was a power outage and the AC is coming back into the power electronics part and maybe there you then have some sort of surges uh, which uh, are destroying the transistor so what I want to do is uh, prevent this and thanks to Frank uh, who gave me a hint on my video when I was introducing uh, the latest uh, fault of the Sun 2000 inverter he said that he has these problems as well and what he is doing is he is using timer relays to kind of start the AC side uh, in a controlled way so I thought hmm that's good i have such relays actually already in operation uh, they are a little bit uh, simpler than uh, what i have here in f uh, next to me but the idea is i want to make a long interruption out of a short one and which kind of device can help me uh, to do that and yeah this is something some people might know uh, these kind of devices it's called a voltage current protector and it looks like this so this is fully programmable and what it is doing is you can uh, give your power source AC source a defined limitation you can set an over voltage limit you can set an under voltage limit, an over current limit and this is programmable as you need it and when a certain limitation is surpassed then this will take uh, your AC uh, source offline and then it depends again what you have set how long it will actually delay the power source coming back and this is uh, what I want to do I want to recognize a low voltage situation 
as quickly as I can and then delay a dead power source, the, in this case the grid, coming back after a short period. For example, in the uh, under voltage situation, I want to tell this device, okay, when the voltage goes below 200 volts, I want to immediately, right away, the shortest uh, time to do that, action time is called is 100 milliseconds so within 100 milliseconds this relay should remove the grid from my power wall and when uh, the grid is coming back when the voltage is then above the certain uh, threshold again i want that it still uh, waits for 60 seconds one minute until it then puts the grid through the relay and give it to the power wall. What now will happen to the inverters? A short interruption will become a long one and in a long interruption the power will be fully removed out of the inverter from the AC side, also from the power supply side, internal power supply, all the electronics part will go dead and then when the car power comes back after a minute uh, the inverter can then restart from a safe state so that's the idea you can find uh, this kind of device on your favorite online store for sure um, this one is from this brand here unaffiliated you can get it from many different brands okay uh, i'm going to show you how this looks inside the main distribution board because that is the place where this will be installed and then we are going to set uh, one of these so that you can see how this works as well this is how the protectors are installed i have one uh, main breaker to my power wall for each phase and there is one protector for each phase two of them i have already uh, installed and now comes the last one just need to bridge from the breaker to the protector that was the in and now comes the out this side goes to the power wall so and that was it so when we power this up now we have to see what the voltage will be shown here because we have to check then on our smart meter if those uh, voltages are equal and they can be then corrected with a factor here inside the protector okay let's turn this on now again you see there is a power up uh, delay and there I will also set the mi 1 minute or 60 seconds as a delay. So 242 volts on the protector and we have 241 is shown on my meter. So it's quite correct. Let's uh, go through the settings. I'm pressing the set button for some time. So I need here my paper, of course, to tell you what it is uh, shown there at the moment. So the first setting is uh, the startup delay. So when this, uh, this device is completely out of power and then power comes back, the startup delay, I want to have also the 60 seconds. The next one, that is the over voltage value. So here I want to set 250 volts as my upper limit. This is the return uh, voltage. So when the voltage goes back below 245, which is okay, then the fault more or less will be cleared. So A4, that is the recovery delay, which uh, I want to have at the 60 seconds again.
next one this is the action time so here I want at the over voltage for me is not so important like uh, under voltage I put like 300 milliseconds is good enough this now is uh, under voltage so here I want to set 200 volts everything below 200 for me is an under voltage situation I want to turn off the power wall okay so recovery above 205 volts delay 60 seconds again and here I want to use the shortest available timing 100 milliseconds to activate an under voltage situation so next factor is this is the overcurrent value 20 amps that's okay here in the power wall I don't have high currents on the AC side 30 seconds delay after a current event that shall be okay as I said current will actually never trigger here and one second action time that's also good enough for the current so this is now A13 is the calibration value for the voltage which was okay so we keep it like it is this is uh, something we don't need and this the last one is a current calibration I cannot tell if the current is correct now I just leave it also like it is so this is now uh, finished the programming and you see we are starting up and we have the 60 second uh, counter now so the grid is still blocked out for this time now and after the 60 seconds are passed then the relay will allow the grid to go into the power wall yeah the timer is uh, finished soon and now the relay has connected our grid side to the power wall side yeah that's so far it i think that this system will now prevent these kind of uh, ac failures you never know for sure of course and time will only tell but this can also help me in the situation when i have a buzzing fuse here on the transformer which is also uh, kind of messing with the uh, voltages here and also sometimes disconnecting the phase completely and uh, yeah these situations are really harmful for any electronic device especially to these uh, inverters which are powered by the ac thank you for watching this video please uh, comment on the down what do you think is this a good idea can this help in my situation here please like the video subscribe to the channel i see you next time